So some folks have asked me, um, what is this crazy AR sandbox that, that you, guys have, uh, you guys have built? Um, just very quickly, this is a, um, an augmented reality solution that uses a Kinect camera and a projector to create an interactive solution um, in an actual physical sandbox. So what I have here is just plain old um, white sand. Actually, this is kinetic sand, but it's really not much different than just any you know, sand that you find in a sandbox. And right up here, which is a little bit out of frame, is an actual Kinect camera, you know, the same one that you buy for your Xbox, and a projector. And we are running a number of software packages that um, are freely distributed. Um, it's a, uh, an open source solution, uh, originally built at Berkeley um, College, um, that allows uh, anyone to uh, deploy something like this in their, in their own labs or in their own home. And uh, the idea is that um, you can experiment with different form factors, and we're actually doing some work with object recognition um, that will allow us to augment this experience, which is sort of the base experience that you can get out of the package. Um, and if you're curious, uh, you can navigate over to um, uh, their primary website. So if you just Google uh, it's a S -A -R -N -D -B -O -X, uh, so it's the, like Sandbox, but Sarnbox. Um, there's lots of information about uh, the packages and how to deploy. Um, we've actually built this one on a Linux um, distro. Um, it's an Ubuntu uh, distribution. It's probably, I think, version 1604. And uh, we're running a pretty standard um, VR ready box. Um, it's an HP that has a, um, a GeForce uh, GTX 980 in it. And, uh, we did have some problems initially with uh, getting the drivers to work because there's the, the systems are actually built for Windows 10, which requires a secure boot and um, EFI. Um, but we were able to, to get around that um, by disabling verification or validation inside of Linux. And you can see here that the, um, the Kinect camera is able to see the contours of the sand and I'm um, adding some water effects here by, by making it rain using my hands and you can see that the water follows the contours of the, of the sand the creation and kind of pulls up in different uh, low low areas and you know as you as you manipulate the sand um, you can you know, draw you know features in the landscape you know, so I push this up build myself a little mountain so you know, create some low lying areas where maybe water might collect um, there's a little mountain top, you know, it's got a little, little snow cap on top of it. Right? And then if you notice what we can do, um, we've, uh, we've made some adjustments to the color map uh, that comes with the distro uh, because we didn't, we didn't particularly like how the, the colors were organized. So in this particular um, change, um, we've created the ability to, create, uh, uh, to, to build beaches. So as you get down to the low lying areas, like so, you can see, I'll just do it over here so you can see it a little bit better. Um, once you drill down past water level, like so. Just get a bunch of sand out of here. And you can build some, build some beach fronts. Like this. So I'll some hands here a little bit. And you can see that you know, you've got a nice this little, little ocean front like, like that, and if you want to go ahead and build build out a nice sandy beach. Uh, the way it works is there's a contour map that gets built um, dynamically um, based on what the Kinect camera sees. Then you assign uh, different color gradients to the depth map. So you tell the system, well, at this particular height above sea level, these are the colors that I want to see, and at this height above sea level or below sea level, these are the colors I want to see. And then built on top of that is a, um, um, a uh, physics engine that controls the, uh, the water features, which you can see actually follow sort of natural um, physics, you know, running down the mountainside and out into the ocean. And you can see you know, how well that works. So if I create a little depression in the top of a little volcano, I can go ahead and you know, rain into that and fill it up with water. And then I can go ahead and break the side of the, the reservoir and have the water sort of you know, run down the side of the mountain and back into the ocean. So it's, um, it's a lot of fun. You know, it's, uh, it's something that we really enjoy building. Um, we're going to use it as a way to experiment with some different types of augmented reality and, and uh, object recognition. Um, but just in general, uh, you know, many thanks to the folks over at Berkeley for um, building this on top of VRUI and uh, opening up their distribution so that anyone can go ahead and download the packages and, and build on top of their work. Um, and also for the fantastic um, uh, help that they've provided in 
uh, you know, either their documentation or uh, videos that um, other people that have built this have posted to, to help the novices like me in the world, um, you know, go ahead and actually build one of their own. So um, there you have it. That's, uh, that's the our sandbox. Okay, bye.